Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Arto Liukkonen from NordCloud, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, serverless WordPress. Um, first of all, let me introduce you to my client, uh, Axe. Uh, that name, Axe, comes from, uh, dare you to repeat after me, uh, Äänekosken kaupunkisanomat. Uh, it roughly translates to local news of Anekoski city. And yes, it is a real actual name of a newspaper. Uh, so it's local news uh, running in on a shoestring budget in a small industrial city in central Finland. Mm, they have media traffic on their side, uh, but they suffer from, suffer from uh, usage spikes. For example, if one of their news hits viral on Facebook, or for example, if there's some major event, major accident happening uh, in local factories, then local people will go to their site because they know that they are the first source to publish the news about it. Uh, so they are using WordPress, and, uh, but they cannot really afford to pay much for the servers. Uh, things like load balancers or uh, premium WordPress hosting or stuff like that is totally out of question. Uh, they are just running on some random cheap web hotel. Uh, but yeah, uh, recently they contacted me that they want a new UI for their website, a, a little bit facelift. And I decided to take the challenge, but at the same time I mentioned that I want to build a whole stack for them ground up. Uh, so this is the uh, initial performance for their site. Uh, this is a Google Lighthouse test. Uh, for those who don't know what the Google Lighthouse, Lighthouse is, it's a testing, performance testing tool, testing uh, also best practices. And yeah, as you might imagine, these are nothing to brag about. Uh, as said, it is running on just some random web host. And then I did some magic, and this is where we are now. Uh, this is a result for a React application, server-side rendered on a Lambda function. And interesting fact is that it is still using the same WordPress hosting in a backend. So it's the same WordPress instance. They are publishing posts on the same, say, same system, but the website that the users are using is quite a lot faster. So this is a small overview of the architecture. Uh, I'm using CloudFront to serve static assets like images and bundled JavaScript code from the S3. And then uh, Lambda function is uh, server-side server -side rendering the app. And it's fetching data from uh, WordPress. And sorry for those who thought that I managed to get the WordPress running on a serverless environment. No, <laughs> it still requires some server. But you can use light, light sail or you can use basically any web hosting, like one euro a month web random web host will do the job. Uh, sharing some highlights from this stack, and don't worry, I will publish this open source, or it, it's already open source, so you can get the whole thing. Um, so server side rendering of the React application it was the hardest part, especially because I haven't done it ever before on any, any environment. This Lambda function was the first time I did it. Uh, the code itself ended up being quite simple and doesn't really require anything special from the React application. Um, I'm using a module called React Router Config to match the route from uh, API Gateway and Lambda to the React component. And then the app will reload all the data that the component needs. And then it will uh, 
render the single page app and return HTML to the browser. And as I said, WordPress is slow, and we don't want to hit it with every query. Uh, so I built a simple Lambda function to cache the results. Uh, it stores the API responses in a global scope variable in that Lambda. So uh, content will stay there cached until the Lambda dies for timeout or the content hits the predefined expired time. And yeah, it would be better to use service like Elastic Cache and DynamoDB there, but uh, as usual in projects, time run out and I just have to go with some solution. And yeah, pull requests, welcome if <laughs> someone has time to make it better. So if you want to build something similar, or just check out the code. Uh, boilerplate is available on my personal GitHub page. And that's the same as my Twitter handle, so you can also find it through speakers page later. And it's also for, worth to mention that this works with any CMS, so you can use Contentful or Prismic or anything in backend, but for non-technical journalists, as in my case, uh, the WordPress is just the easiest solution to uh, publish the content. Yeah, if you want to know about, more about me, about the stack, about NordCloud, uh, after the talks, you can find me from the lobby and I'll also attend the after party. Thank you. <laughs>